I'm President John Henry Eden, and you're listening to Enclave Radio, the voice of warmth and reason in this cold, unreasonable world. Hello everyone, I am Torior, not really John Henry Eden, and we're playing the Enclave in the Old World Blues, plus Enclave Reborn, plus Enclave Plus, plus, and then double plus, good. Now, in my previous video, we started small and we took over the NCR, and some surrounding countries. Now it's time to dominate the continent. We've taken over our biggest enemy, but there are still enemies around us, although I don't think they can challenge the might of the Enclave. Yes, we took down the NCR, but we still have Caesar's Legion breathing down our necks, and there's a lot of other countries around us. But our superiority should be enough to take them over. Let's see if we can do that. And if you want to see the first part of this playthrough, I'll leave a link in the description below. There was just too much footage to put it all in one video. So here's another one. Enjoy. And I've added this separation in post, so I really do hope that I found the right save file, otherwise it's gonna look real weird in a moment. Let's go. It's a new day for me. It's a new day for the Enclave. It's a new day for America. As I mentioned, I should be ending this video now, but I'm not going to. I'm having too much fun. We might be a bit too powerful, but that's the Enclave for you. I want to continue on explore. We can't rebuild a nation yet, so it might be time to make a decision regarding the mutants. See, this is essentially a purity path with slavery. However, we get all this stuff. All of it. Implant technology, sophisticated everything. Cheaper equipment, cheaper power armor, all of that. Even Gauss weapons. Oh, sophisticated construction tech as well. So this is just awesome. However, for roleplay reasons, I'm not gonna do that, because Enclave has gone the purity route twice already, and they were defeated each time by some hero who objected to their evil. On the other hand, if we go with accepting everybody, like except the super mutants, we'll lose a lot of stability, we will not get all the fun technologies, but no chosen ones should come along to kill us. And again, looks like if I start this, I'll have to follow through. Oh, and for that we need South Mine Pass. Where is that? Looks like I have to be bordering because it's north of this, so that can wait. In that case, let's dig deeper in the Red Mountain, and we no longer have to. Oh, the Legion marches. What do you think the Legion will attack me? God damn it. All right, we ha have some time. Let's do the TV Town event and see what happens there. Hidden Metropolis of TV Town. As that's with androids and stuff, I think. Let's restore all these places. Weapons of the old world, maybe that'll be helpful. Marine Corps, Camp Pendleton, Nine Palms, and a station a little more. Strike all skills, no. All right, I think we're good. And there might be something happening in TV town, so let's send some people there. And if the Legion wants to march on us, we'll have to be ready. Although, we're not, really. I need more troops. And to deploy them faster, just deploy one unit of militias. We don't have enough power armor for all of them, but we will need that. Let's do 56 for a full army group. We can always request forces from San Francisco, but maybe they'll do their own thing. Can we reason with Caesar? Doesn't look like it. Radio. I'm missing composite materials. Why can't I buy them from San Francisco? Oh, because I'm still in uh, Hidden Economy was that. And we can now get out of Hidden Economy. Wait a minute, no resources will be exported. Doesn't say anything about imports, so I should be able to import stuff. No trade influence with Caesar. What if I improve relations with you? Can't do that. Alright, I, I have control of the divide and I did find nuclear codes. So is it possible that I can nuke Caesar? That would be nice. My guys are on their way to stop Caesar, if he marches on us. I do need more composite materials. I was building infrastructure all over my core territories. I think I'll benefit more from building infrastructure wherever there is a lot of composite materials, because I do need those. Not sure if what I'm doing is right. I might be wasting my efforts, but I do need those composite materials. All right, let's continue. Pursuit of the Karen, and what is that? Be careful what you wish for. Delete rebel militia. Replace bottle caps with worthless currency. Oh, that's terrible. Can I use the caps for something else before this happens? You know what, it's not important. 25 legitimacy is lost. And California resistance collapsed government anarchy disorganized army. That's a lot. The silos. We have found the silos of the divide. Not the decision to use a nuke America's enemies, uh, to use nukes against America's enemies. Sure, if Caesar attacks. Thanksgiving, what do we get? Legitimacy, stability, or money? Legitimacy, please. Right, so can I start solving the crisis now? Where is that? Yes, I can, once we're done with the current focus. Worthless wages. Oh god, that's always terrible. Can I stop Caesar with this? Well, I need more power armor, for sure, if I am to stop Caesar. Moreover, I lost my rebel militia, so I need even more troops. Am I making a mistake? producing plasma rifles. I might be. Power armor is more important, I think. Let's for now go back to laser rifles. 
Should we do that? That's fine, we just need to get more of this. Possibly with excavation technologies. It's gonna be fine, right? I hope so. Uncanny Valley. We declare war on TV Town because they're androids. Sure. My troops are almost in position, so yeah, okay, start that. Be aggressive about it. I'll take your resources. We did only send a small detachment, but that's all we need, I think. Our biggest problem is going to be Caesar. Oh, and we're gonna get raiders as well. Huh. We'll deal with that. Nation building. Oh, we need to do these. Uh, sure, civilian relief. Perhaps I should have built up even more before attacking. What lies beneath? We can excavate a mountain. And there's a calculator down there, but we're not going to do anything about it yet because I need to rebuild the nation. Okay. Cool! We got sophisticated air tech. She science and enclave engineering together. And we took TV Town. I shall an exit. F-85 fighters. Now TV Town has some resources I can use. I'll send Remy to hold the river and she will go to the Mojave. If the Legion does march, we will be ready. Economic resurgence of some nodes. We should probably start appropriate trade routes. Right, created some trade routes. That should increase our income significantly. Can't deploy them, but at least they train faster than the power armor guys. Boneyard remnants, yes, welcome back everybody. Caesar's probably about to attack me and I still need to get my stuff in order. Maybe I shouldn't be attacking. No, let's at least push to the river. Collapsed economy, not very good, is it? So it looks like we'll have to be rebuilding the nation while we fight Caesar. New Canaan in flames, not my problem. President and the people. Political power or more popularity? A strong president to bring peace to America. Our stability is fine-ish. And we've finally researched in the esoteric technology of bricks. Alright, so what can we do? I'll help with manpower. Now how do I get cores on all of this? Do I have cores on all of this? No. Occupied states. There's a lot of cool stuff in here, but kinda need to rush it, don't I? Right, let's see. We want to replace collapsed economy. We need to do a revive the Federal Reserve. Where is that? Here. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Let's start that. I love how I have seven research slots. Advanced tools. Oh, I'm not building anything because consumer goods. That's a bit of a problem. I'm making very little power armor. What if I prioritize this over the plasma rifles? No production. Yeah, you know what? I, I kind of have to use other weapons. The laser rifles were good enough. Or I could just scavenge power armor, but no. no. Let's just do laser rifles and power armor for now. This will kind of work. And when we get the resources, we'll switch back to plasma. Speaking of, I should probably be researching plasma because I don't really see myself dedicating a focus to getting a boost to that, um, if there even is one. And I don't think there is one. Oh no, two times research for infantry technology, if New Vegas exists. With that, we'll need to do all sort of thing, and even free Mr. House. So I think I should just be researching the better plasma weapons on my own when I get the free slot, even though it will take years. 39 days until the Legion marches. Oh, built infrastructure, this is gonna be nice. When we have factories free. All right, our new vice president. Oh, cool. We shall appoint a vice president. I'm thinking this girl, not Lynette, full of new Canaan. Free press, do we want free press? Unfortunately, we have to. The disloyal position, the New World Party would grant C. Hayes. If I make her my... That's a girl, right? Yeah. If I make her my vice president, world of tyranny and serfdom. Caesar guarantees the 80s. Well, I'm not the one who's going to be attacking. We have too much trouble at home. And the national anthem. The enclave can learn from RuPaul. God damn it, really? Star-spangled banner yet waves, or we rally once again, shouting the battle cry of freedom. Oh, RuPaul survived the war. Must be, what, 500 at the moment. Probably a ghoul. Yeah, let's do the Star Spangled Banner. Hmm. I should be able to appoint Donan because we have more than 30% support for our current president. Or is that support for them for vice president? I could ban free press and gain stability. Really? Stability loss is based on the popularity of the people of action. It's not completely the focus on the First Amendment. Where is that focus? And do I need it? Get some legitimacy. Should I ban free press? Well, we are a conquering nation right now. We're the conqueror here. So we can do that. Although it increases my production efficiency cap, so it's not that bad, I suppose, but the daily people support could be a problem. On the other hand, I wouldn't mind allying with Hayes and having her as my vice president. Oh, this is me. I'm no longer the intellectuals. I'm both the president and the intellectuals, it seems. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Let's continue. Do not dwell on this too much. Training my mongrels. I need more water and more composite materials. Can I actually make composite materials? No. I can only make basic stuff. So, what will the Legion do? This is the most important bit, I suppose. Right, I do have a navy now, don't I? And it is quite sizable. Let's balance it out. 
get an admiral and you're actually going to because those river zones are actually sea zones i'm gonna send my navy into the river so that there's no naval invasions i'm pretty sure i have a better navy than caesar with his canoes or whatever they are allowed to use by oh, weapons of the old world naval boosts and guardians of the pacific naval bombing and stuff good new economic policy what do we do you can accept the ncr dollar or mandate the us dollar well, this gives me a bonus to factory output and consuming goods factories. Have some more. We'll have less caps, but that's fine. Caps don't really matter that much. Sure, let's do that one. US dollar it is. We've mandated the US dollar because we're not NCR. We could end the bottle caps now or focus on something else. See, we can switch from collapsed economy. I just need some more war support. Oh, I lost my decisions to increase war support and such. I should have been doing it uh, by the end of the war, apparently. It's fine. We need to remove Californian resistance. This will give me more war support. Let me get a better economic policy going. But isn't it about time that Caesar attacked us? 27 days left. Let's do the military theory committee. We're getting some resistance to occupation, but we should be able to increase our presence now that I've built more dogs. Or bread is the appropriate word, I guess. Now, do I need to invest even more in dog production? I suppose I could, if I have the water to feed them. Raiders are a lesser problem. Legion is the big one. Can I deploy these guys yet? Not yet, almost. A vertebrate crashed in Uncle territory. That's unfortunate. At least the brother didn't get the vertebrate plans. Well, they have them. They've had them for a long time now. I think I'll give Mr. House his little slice of freedom back. Yesterday's enemies is done. Let's do NCR leadership. Perhaps that can help us mend everything. The description of the focus is rather vague. Looks like we have three years to beat the Legion. Keep researching laser stuff. Now, the new laser weapon still does not use the advanced component ions I need for the power armor. So let's do that. When we get enough, we'll switch to plasma. We just don't have the components for that. We have some war support. If we're attacked by the Legion, I'll be able to go to war economy. If we're not attacked, I guess we'll see, right? Let's see what this event is. The Legion marches. I was so bloody worried. They march against the dead horses. Why do I care? That's not my problem. Right, so I can focus on other stuff. Should we be conquering people? Honestly, there's no need. I have better things to do with my political power. We have to consolidate the territory we have. Then we can go conquering. We need some more war support so we can do war economy, but we will. That's pretty good. Pentagon reborn. Right, so I can actually focus on rebuilding because the Legion seems to not want to attack me. At least not right away. Of course, I could invade people like the grabber territories but we kind of just need to consolidate what we have holding on dogs and weapons Caesar attacked dead horses not my problem shall we disintegrate or integrate the ncr leaders oh we'll lose political power stability and war support that's fine let's integrate them rimi is outraged we can make rimi a reformer and lose war support let's try and convince him yay rimi's with us nukaland do we care about nukaland at building nukaland do we need a theme park Sure, let's not pass up any opportunities. We'll see if it makes sense. Let's integrate the NCR army. With that, we'll be able to go to war economy, I think. I don't know, because we just lost some war support, so maybe not. Anyways, this should have unlocked some advisors. I'd get Lynette if it wasn't for the elite support. Oh, can we do a uh, vice president now? Not yet. I think Hayes is our best bet for vice president. Uh, she'll make it easier to integrate everything, I think. Oh, no, a lot of projects to restore. Restored Fort Irwin. Hey guys, switch to rapid response divisions. Lots of power armor units. They will have insufficient power armor. Yeah, that's fine. We'll produce more. We need 6,000 power armor units. Let's get more resources. Steam powered extraction. I love having so many research slots. Caesar is a problem, but if he's not moving against us just yet, I think I'll have enough time to fix everything. Oh, right, raiders. I need to deal with them. Uh, underhanded justice system. I think I need... What do I need? FBI for that, right? Law and order. No. Which one? Oh, I would need to go down all this way down here. So we will get one event of the raiders, apparently. Unfortunate. Whoa. Requisition of resources. Could be helpful. But it would be better to just core everything. You know, actually, I really need to do the mutant question because we need to remove collapsed government and all that. I've been putting it off far too long. Now, the problem is, this all happens by events, and I think I'll be able to get cores with some of these, but I don't know with which ones deploy the rest of the units. Rapid response division. There you go. Now, I just need to produce enough power armor for all of them, and we can handle Caesar. There's some resistance, but having enough dogs will deal with that. Mole rats have infected. Tested Saxity. Don't care. We have incorporated the NCR army. We still don't have enough war support to do war economy. What's next? I think I need to do the mutant question. 
and finally be done with that decision. Unless we can do something else here first that will help us more? I don't think so. A lot of good stuff is locked behind the mutant question. Yeah, we need to do these. Champions of Virtue. Sure, the last doctrine. We actually have enough to boost our presence in the occupied territories a bit and get even more resources. I really could use sophisticated tech, but let's roleplay this and do the Enclave that doesn't try the same thing for the third time, only to be killed by another hero again. We shall set the country free. We are beginning the mutant integration. But before we actually focus on the integration, can I now do the fate of our democracy? I'm not sure if empowering the Congress will be a good choice, but if we control them enough, this will increase our legitimacy significantly. That should be good. So let's go the quote-unquote good route. Integrate all the mutants and get the Congress going. And a raid. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna steal money. I'm fine with that. So, collapsed economy. Do we invest in partial mobilization or do we wait for war economy? Let's see if any of the focus items I am planning to do soon is that the reconstruction party. That's unfortunate. War support. All right. I figured out the way to forward. When we do this, we'll be able to switch to war economy because we'll have enough war support. I think we'll do mandatory patriotism. Right. We have a way forward. Lockreed schematics. Which one is that? Fighter manufacturer, no, 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 we need a West Tech, or I should just embrace the plasma weapons, I suppose. Yeah, let's just do that. Then again, we have a focus that might unlock stuff, like open for business. Repcon, Robco, Vault Tech. Okay, Repcon, Robco, and Vault Tech. Where's Vault Tech? Robco is great for robots. Actually, I could stack production cost reductions on power armor. So this is not actually 10%, because I already have like 40% reduction. If it's additive, this could be quite a boon. Get. Power armor production, giving up for war, and drugs, energy programs. Let's check those. Yeah, I think we'll be better off with more power armor rather than better power armor. Let's do quantity PA team instead. Should be getting even more of that now. See? We jumped from 4.7 to 5.7. It's strong enough. Anyway, scrap convoys, please. Convoys are great to, re to reduce uh, the autonomy of your subjects when you have enough convoys. Oh, what did I get? Where did that come from? Oh, it's a raid. Like a border war. I hate those, but it's fine. You guys can deal with that. Just move faster. Should you, could you do that? I absolutely hate border wars. Fate of our democracy. Now, we can do presidential dictatorship or we can go with Congress. I'm gonna go with Congress. Once again, we're role-playing a different enclave that goes against the decisions it made in the past because twice they tried and twice they failed. Voting Rights Act. And can I get a vice president now? Looks like it. We can do Vice President Hayes. Let's see what that does. 10% stability and 10% popularity of the people. Yeah, sure. Fine. We shall appoint Hayes as Vice President. Raiders will be a bit of a problem, but we'll fix whatever they do. Although I think it's time to start researching the Turbo Plasma Rifle. Can we buy stuff yet? No. Ah, now we're ruled by the people. We switched parties. So free press is now actually in our favor. So should I do propaganda broadcasts or not? We might need to do that. So how do I need to get enough war support to enact war economy? We're at 42. This is gonna give me 5 war support. And with conscripts we can get some more as well. Or we could get Lynette temporarily and then fire her. Or Sergeant Dolan. 10% stability, nice. Actually, since I am now the people party, we get a constant bonus. Lynette would not be such a threat. Well, let's hire Lynette. And combat casualties is slowly going away, so if we do petty criminal conscripts, extra 2%, when we wait a bit, we'll be able to do work on it. Excellent. Return of the US dollar. Replace bottle caps with the US dollar. Sure, oh, trade relations. Can I now buy stuff yet, or do I need to change my economy? I actually can buy stuff from my subject. Yeah, the consumer goods are a bit of an issue, but we'll deal with that. Countryside rated. It's a temporary thing. Not a big deal. Better radio. Actually, if we do radio detection, I get a some sort of a propaganda decision that could be useful. Strange places, what is this? Excavate the lab in Area 51. Yes, I shall do that. Oh, we could reclaim the Declaration of Independence, that would be nice. Although we need political power for that. We shall infiltrate the Legion. Congress holds a session. Democracy in action. Extra compliance gain. Excellent. Next up, free elections which will remove unstable government. 29 poems. Alright, that's uh, a thingy we did. Invasion defense, amphibious invasion speed. Where is that strike force? Why are you docked here? No, 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 no. Move. Have enough dogs to boost occupation again. And again. Yeah. 
how the rate is. There's a lot of resistance here, but we are about to deal with it completely. We also have nukes for Caesar. I refuse to call him Kaiser, and that's what he wants you to do. Eh, Raider Strike, Arms Workshop, that's not a problem. It will repair itself. Oh, I have insufficient water, apparently. What happened to water? I had more. Should I build more waters, uh, water plants? I don't even have factories to do anything. Collapsed trade. Yeah, I need to fix that trade thing quickly. Free elections are done. We're back in business. So how do I switch collapsed trade out? Chamber of Commerce. Let's do that then. War support slowly going up. Let's get more water. With advanced pumps. Yeah, where, where did all my stuff go? Oh, uh, wasteland pacification. I didn't actually look at this. That this reduces local resources. Road patrols. Yeah, I missed it. Now we should be fine on resources. Almost. Let's buy some. Excellent. Much better. At least declare war on Grabber territory. Well, if they attack me, I should have an easy time taking them over. I think that maybe hiring Lynette was a mistake. Oh, sophisticated industry and construction tech. Cool. Well, that can wait. I think it's time to integrate the mutants now. Lower my war support, and I can get demobilized from war economy, which would be very annoying. Oh well, let's start the integration. We have to do it sooner or later. And sooner is better. Yeah, I should have hired Sergeant Donnan instead of Lynette. We'll fire her eventually. Just need a little bit more war support. Scrap shacks. Deep breathing. How are you going to power armor logistics? Mm, it's fine. I don't need that many dogs anymore. Let's reduce the production. Get more laser rifles instead. Keep integrating. Ah, and we have 50. War support. War economy. Because good factories should be much better now. And they surely are. Here you go. Some unit leaders. Commando and sniper. And sniper and commando. Because special forces all around. Right, from the 80s, we don't really care. And again, it's gonna start another border war, isn't it? How about I just send an army to their border? That should fix it. Integrate officers. Should we invest in the Air Force a bit? Well, no, because most of all I need power armor, but then we can. Lots of manpower. Good. Switch to free trade. Now, how are we doing with those resources? We're extracting more, but we're also exporting a lot of that. But we get bonuses to pretty much everything. So it's fine. Maybe free trade was not the best choice. Should have gone with export focus instead. It's fine. Ah, and now the border war is happening. You go there. Defenses are online, land doctrine. But I have all the doctrines. Americans, one and all, do all that integration stuff. So we're losing some support due to Lynette being in the government. She is very helpful though. They only have 20%, so it's not a big deal. We got raided, sure, whatever. And that completes the doctrine. Nothing more to do here. Wait a minute, they're not exclusive? Can I do refined warfare and conventional warfare at the same time? Oh, I get it now. I'm not sure if this was intended, but by doing a focus, I got this technology. And since I got it from a focus, while I had this, it opened up two focus trees for me. Two doctrine focus trees. That's pretty cool if it doesn't and now all my previous ones. No, no, it looks like I can just do both. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be so powerful. Let's bribe Legion leadership. Now, how do I get cores on everything here? Americans, one and all. Now we can reject the ghouls or accept them. We shall accept them. Should probably get the EPA director to unlock a focus path. However, oh, we're losing a lot of stability with this and war support. Hmm, I might too. I might need to do stuff. Let's wait and see. That's a lot of manpower. Brick housing. A frumentary defect and the Ulysses becomes a unit leader. And we've got General Atomics schematics. Let's see if General Atomics is something we want. Robot manufacturers. No, we're not really doing robots. Power armor is better for us. It is. Next, the Grubber territories. Ghoul marriage. <laughs> okay. Adam and Eve, not Atom and Eve. This is, this is well written. Adopt an equal protection argument. You can, ghouls can get married. They're supposed to get full rights, aren't they? Now, super mutants, we could reject or accept. Let's once again accept, and we will lose some stability once again. But fortunately, what I can do is improve worker conditions, which will help a bit. And there's a lot of focuses that can give me some stability, so it's fine. Let's do new citizen care package. Again, irrigation. We're really picking this country up. National information infrastructure you can get a research slot or stability, decryption, and political power gain. Satan Net, Enclave Net, Robco, other information networks of the wastes. Networking the computers. So we could do monitoring the computer networks, which grants political power gain and decryption and stability. Or we could get a research slot, that number eight research slot. You know what, would eight research slot? I don't need 
a research slot number eight, but I don't need this either. So let's get the research slot. I think it's worth it. Eight research slots, that's crazy. We have accepted super mutants. Our stability is down in the dumps. We need FBI soonish. We need to be a member of Far Sun to do this. Hmm. Well, we're obviously not. Let's do non-human rights and see what that does and find Far Sun. Nomads of Far North, is that it? It's a different flag. Something might be bugged. We'll see. Maybe it's a country they took over? No matter. Ah, I love having lots of political power. Decrypted the Legion, good. Now work on... Oh, Lannis has been the next. Is Tucson your subject? Yeah. I equipped them, and the Free Fighters, and the 80s, and the White Legs. My war squad has gone down, but I don't see anything forcing me to mm, demobilize my economy. So it looks like we can actually stay at war economy. Excellent. Oh, breach the Area 51 facility. We already have plasma weapons. We could get Gauss rifles from it. Ghouls in the army. Ghoul civilization and ghoul paratroopers, or just ghoul troopers. See, this would be easy if I knew what those technologies do. Ghoul civilization, ghoul paratroopers. Maybe I can find this here. Sorry, uh, here and technologies, reward technologies. Uh, enables ghoul infantry platoon. Yeah. Prepare for orderly integration. 10 legitimacy. We're almost maxed out on it. Brahmin barons and Vol City restrict suffrage. Yeah, Lynette can't do that. Can I execute her? She'll at least fire her from the government. Although the research speed is welcome. Yeah, let's fire Lynette. She's not worth it. That's, uh, let's roleplay this as a penalty for what we just, you know, what she just tried. The burrows, what is that? Oh, right, there's the raccoons. We can get an next war on them, or we can welcome them and they will dig for us and help us gain resources. Yes, sure, be my miners. That's actually going to help us quite a lot because we're having resource troubles. Right, so we're done with the raccoon people. What's next? Let's do law and order, otherwise we'll keep getting raiders. Our armor production speeding up. Although, actually we could get some sophisticated technology and should probably prioritize that. Supreme Court of Justice. Sure. Stability and political power. Definitely need some stability. Law or order. To the Republic, a government of laws and not of men. Or well, lawyers won't stop the legion. This is nice because it gives me a constant boost to stability. However, we're all playing this. To the Republic. The rule of law. Oh, we'll get stability from this. Great. Revive the judiciary. Really investing into industry. I don't need to, but those are not ahead of time anymore, and they will boost us in small bits all across the board. Imminent raid. Well, I did provide troops. Now that we fired Lynette, we're slowly gaining support for our ruling party. Hayes is um, tempting, but I still am not getting enough political power. Let's hire Colonel Sue. Deep Springs. Remove infrastructure. That's fine. We'll repair it. Oh, if I do peacekeeping, we'll get weekly stability boosts. But we will be getting that from the judiciary anyway. Still, I can replace it later when we need manpower. You know, this is actually great. Peacekeeping. Yeah, more stability. I wish I saw it sooner. Ah, because we have anarchy. That's why it was going down. Well, no longer. The Brahmin barons. Can I kill them? We probably can with some focus later. It's fine. Industrial fertilizer. See, 27 power armor suits per day. That's pretty good. I love. I just love having eight research slots. It might feel a bit overpowered, but at this point it's more about uh, managing the country. See, all these raids. It's so annoying. Could at least transport faster. Can I just kill the white legs? They're not guaranteed by Caesar. The 80s are. But they're both raiding me. I think I'll just conquer the white legs. Oh, Ulysses. Yay. Now, you. They raided me once too many times. White legs. Die. We're fighting Urboros. Who's winning? Do I need to fight you as well? Goddess of the Dark Moon. Yeah, that's not gonna fly with us. We have power armor. We don't have enough power armor, I suppose. Well, they hate Caesar, so maybe I'll leave them alone for now. We've revived the judiciary. Establish the FBI. Uh, with the FBI, we can get rid of the Bremen Barons. Excellent. This kind of feels like cheating. I, I'm pretty sure this is by design, but having two doctrines is just gonna make us so bloody powerful. More smart patches. And know your enemy. Raid repels. Oh, cool. At least we didn't lose the money. Route 95 for the Sierra Madre. Where is that? Ooh, I need to conquer Caesar. Later then. Salanta service. Scout corps. Reconnaissance and planning speed, or no. I'm building an army, not a zoo, but apparently I'm no fun if I choose this. Okay, you can scout for us. They look like animals, the Legion will suspect nothing. Ulysses, give him boosts. Sniper commando, inspirational. How's power armor production going? Could be better, but it's going. A nation reborn. 
Peacekeeping is no longer... Oh, I just switched that. That's a pity, that was a nice boost to stability. Oh well, should have done that faster. Lifetime pensions for the military. Make them loyal and happy. Arcjet system schematics. All right, all right. I prefer West Tech. Hmm, this is interesting. Oh no, arms company. Production cost minus 25%, and it's tax additively, so I already have bonuses to production speed. So that would make my infantry weapons nearly free. Let's see. Gearing up for war and energy ordnance. Let's check. Production cost minus 3.5%, minus 10%. It's not that much. Still, we could get more plasma rifles. And if we stack with the, uh, with uh, this plasma weapon design team, that'll be what, 25 plus 10 plus we have 13 already? That's almost half cost. So even if we're just making crappy laser rifles, we'll get lots and lots of them. Hmm. Not sure if I'm making the right choice, but I think I'll do exactly that in a moment. Alternatively, we could do civilian and military factory construction speed boosts. A nation reborn. Oh, music! I didn't know they incorporated that into the mod. Nice. We've done most of the things we want to do. It's still going, actually. I'm gonna do the Cochise machine now. I don't know what this will do, but extra AI would be nice. Maybe we'll get sophisticated electronics technology. Now we do have some bonuses to robotics technology. I suppose I could go and get sentry bots. Now nah, with power armor, we don't need that. And we have a lot of population. What's our justification? Who's winning? White legs are winning. Hmm. Nuclear land opening day. Stability legitimacy. Excess legitimacy converted to base stability. Nice. All right. Oh, we have toilet technology. We've equipped half of our army with power armor so far. Still need more resources, working on it. Let's do the plasma weapon design team. Cosmic goods could be better, but it's acceptable. Wait a minute, I finished the FBI. Can I get rid of the Bremen Barons now? Doesn't look like it. But I can breach the facility of Area 51. And we get Gauss rifles. Excellent. Let's see. I mean, we're mostly geared towards energy weapons, but what resources do Gauss weapons take? Oh, I don't have the technology. I still have to research it. That's fine. The mass driver. It takes all the same stuff. So I guess I'll just keep to my energy weapons. Although it does look like the Gauss rifle is slightly better than the plasma rifle. I might get both. We'll see. I love that amount of political power. The Cochise AI. What do we get? Intelligence. Cool. I was hoping for technology boosts, but that's fine as well. Let's do the Department of Manufacturing and Energy to unlock some nice technologies. And then we can do uh, those focuses about, you know, uh, uniting our country further. Capital. Shady Sands, Shady Sands, or Fortify Navarro. If I move my capital to Shady Sands, will that become my core territory? Because it's not my core territory. Or we could just keep it in New Reno. Otherwise, Navarro my occupied state and not core. You know what, I'll move it to Shady Sands, I think. Oh, please write for the National Anthem and we'll see you if they ever get to the East Coast, as in the mod makers. <laughs> well, yeah, let's do Shady Sands. That's the pragmatic decision. And see if this becomes my core territory now. No, it doesn't. Oh, that's terrible. At least it's going to be easier to defend than New Reno, I think. Basic drills. How are the resources? Getting better. Ooh, new projects to restore. Solar stockpiles, sure. So that's on prospectors. Tax breaks for factories. Justification on the white legs is finished. I think we should just attack them. Are you guys in position yet? Why not? Move faster. Oh, yeah. Supply is gonna be a problem. Let's just go aggressive. We have power armor and they don't. And they're tribals. So, goodbye. Oh, they're attacking a lot of people. Hmm. That's fine. Call allies. It's gonna be rather easy. Not sure how much I'll get, but it's not about getting territory. We have lots of territory at the moment. It's more about stopping them raiding us because it's annoying as hell. The great race. What is that? Oh, got some cool tech and race to remember. That's fine. Doesn't matter. Department of Energy. We have almost all the sophisticated techs here. Well, we've unlocked some cool stuff now. Oh, should have done that a bit earlier. What do we have? Population, production efficiency, resources, coring cost increase. I can't core stuff. Don't have the option. Now just focus on the workers and tools. Then we'll do all these too. Let's get the industrial concern. Our weapons are fine. Now I'd like the 80s to attack me. They're probably not that stupid, but it would be nice. Lift tax on luxury goods. Although that increases resources to market, so it's probably not the best choice for us right now. Well, it's temporary. Wait a minute. Gain 1% of legitimacy for every two levels of infrastructure built during this, but excess legitimacy goes to stability, doesn't it? That would be quite a boon, but I don't know if it will actually go to stability. Let's call San Francisco. Maybe they'll help a bit. Not that I need it, but you know, they should pull their own weight as well. Department of Energy. Sophisticated construction tech. Right. I think we should do either for Ord Lang Syne or Uniting the States of America. Probably this, because this is about internal stuff. Perhaps I can get cores. That would be very nice. Ooh, got a level. Oh, Pain Train is a power armor boost. 
So special forces and power armor. Right? Because sniper also affects power armor, right? Because it's special forces. Pain train, we should be doing pain train on everyone. Get the better razor. Razor rifle, yeah. Get the better laser rifle. We already have a better technology, but the laser rifle is cheaper. Thunderbirds attacking people, we don't care. The only threat to us realistically is Caesar right now, I think. Now we've equipped the white legs, it's a bit late, but sure, we can still use that. Finish them off quickly. Those mountains make it difficult for others to retain cohesion. However, if you just put them on aggressive, they'll still advance. Also using laser weapons, that's fine. Should I attack someone else? How about the protector and security something? America now and forever. We learn from the mistakes of the past. See, the problem with this is I don't really know what these do. Seems like I have to do that. Let's do 10 days teachings and see what happens with these events. Some of us are still using crappy power armor. That's just some of us. White legs are taken. Should I take everything? We have 77%, so I think I can, in fact, take everything. Submit demands. Counter everything that anybody else might want to take, because it's all mine. And we have the most war score, so we'll manage to undercut them and get all of it. Got for an exit. All right, we grow. Let's take out the protectorants. Maybe the resources will be useful to us. Do we have enough dogs? Yes. Do we have enough guns? Yes. Power armor could be better. Ten these teachings. All right, what can we do with that? All of us legacy. 40% division organization, but 10% attrition. Houses legacy. Extra political power gain and factory output. Small decrease to stability. Normally I'd go for political power gain, but... Go uh, hmm. because of factory output. Both are a good choice. See, I would go with houses legacy. However, we are role-playing in... A certain way, so democracy no longer functions in this world is just not acceptable to us. Enshrine Tandy's thingy. Alright, so I suppose these just give us bonuses. Yeah, let's do those. Maybe they'll be nice. Whispers of hope. Manpower or stability? And political power, that takes stability. We have lots of manpower. Vangraphs request lower tariffs. Sure, whatever. Actually, maybe I should buy something. Not now. Spanish fork armor. Sure. Our stability is manageable again. Oh, I should do open for business. Let's hire the EPA director. We'll need him for a focus. Compliance gain. Losing compliance gain is not great. How's our compliance? It's pretty good. Should always do we are the people, for the people, by the people, of the people, and the people. Because that will give us more people. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, Environmental Protection Agency, which will not be great for consumer goods factories, but can get a gek for it. Or several geks. What did we find? Temporary boost to factories, that's fine. New cane and trade node. Somewhere in here. Cement and concrete. Hmm, we can invest into a military academy, sure. We have a lot of political power now, so we can get some boost from the followers. Environmental Protection Agency is founded. Let's do geks. Oh, there's a typo here. Tadis Legacy. Might fire arcade gun on soon, because we have a lot of political power. Although, I still am not able to core stuff. Just don't have the option. So I'm guessing it will become available later. I might need that political power for it. Horses. Now give them lasers. We have revived for horses. Now, Gex. How do I do something? We have four Gex. Now, we can only do Gex in the low development territories. Let's get the ones that are already our cores. Something here. Oh, Chester. Chester is my core territory, isn't it? Let's deploy. So bad about moving my capital to Shady Sands. Let's do open for business. Oh, weekly stability gain. Yay! Power armor prospectors. We finally have enough power armor for everybody. So I could make another army group, or maybe increase the size of these units. Because we're using those small ones, but they are working well. Let's build up reserve first. Open for business. Let's see, do we get anything? Oh, we don't. Ah, it's here. And it's global modifiers, apparently. Oh no, West Tech, that's the power armor one I wanted. Okay, let's do West Tech and Med Tech. And all the techs, actually. Let's get them all. Next focus. Open the vaults and strip them for parts. Lockreed Aeronautics. Just vacation finished. Let's take over. How about we take Eureka next? Oh, they're fighting people. Let's wait for this to end then. Attack the four ways. Because I can't attack them because... Mm, I can't. I just can't. How about Klamath? I can take Klamath, yes. Although, that's how I get war goes through this. Let's get the Elko policy instead. Protections are being destroyed quickly and easily. Well, they have security drones. Sorry, uh, that's not security drones, that's uh, sentry bots. They have sentry bots. Those are quite tough. Send an army up north, annex everything, and we are stripping the vaults. What do we get? Research gain efficiency 10% or research speed 3% on everything. Our research is pretty damn good already. I think resource gain efficiency will be better for us. Death Claws as an endangered species. <laughs> Death Claw, like the bald eagle, symbolizes America. Really? Really? Yeah, no, should them. Let's do Uniting the States of America. Perhaps we can get course somewhere down here. We'll definitely get war goals. Interesting, I could boost civilian economy. Essentially replace military factories with civilian factories and get some stability in the process. A bunch of companies will finish. Alright, 
MedTech, getting healthier, General Atomics, Women's Electronics, and West Tech. So I'm actually going to switch to West Tech. Should I? 10% defense and 5% max speed and reliability. Though this makes... See, I'm not researching power armor, so I only benefit from the other bit. Well, I am researching weapons and equipment. So I guess I'll keep this, but then probably switch later. Oh, and we get those bonuses. Like permanent ones. Yay. Power surge. Automated utility system. Eh, not useful. Now, do I need to fight Caesar? Because there's this event, right? Of almost two years. Will he attack me when this runs out? Well, I'll be ready. We can unlock... We can incorporate tribal nations. Let's try that. Let's we'll see if it takes political power. We no longer get effects of go marriage. Not sure if the Environmental Protection Agency wasn't a mistake. Now that I've researched it, I should probably fire this guy. We'll see. No rush. Raid from the 80s. Well, I do have troops close by. I would rather you just attack me. I don't want to attack you because Caesar guarantees you. Continue down the second doctrine. Well, I guess if anyone got two battle doctrines, it would be the Enclave. The canon doctrine is done. This does nothing. Every state gets claimed by the United States. That's pretty good. But we need that to happen later. Hmm, we're going to reconcile the Brotherhood. Do as firm as granite now and see what decisions were unlocked. Okay, so we can possibly get them peacefully. Sponsor a followers expedition. Send couriers. Yeah, let's send out couriers. We have a lot of political power. Klamath. Four ways. Who's next? Badland Buckaroos. We need to attack the Elko Posse. Or will they be available? Well, not right now, but they might be. Also, Arroyo is at war with Eureka, right? But nothing is happening there. Looks like they're just standing next to each other. Something's been pilfered. Do we care? Sure, let's do Retribution. There's a lot of decisions in this mod. Taking out the trash. By taking down the raiders and the tribals, we're defending life, liberty, and stuff. Where's Lone Tree? Oh, here. They did send a follower expedition there, so maybe we'll be friendly with them. Defeat the Axis of Evil. Oh, I can try and dismantle the Legion with this. I think we'll need to do that. Shall we attack the Sorrow Apostles? Yeah, probably. But that can wait a bit. So for now, let's negotiate. Oh, can we get the Crimson Acolytes? That's a huge country. We can get these guys. That would be something. The Go Supreme Court Justice was actually a traffic court judge. Yeah, he's still better than the guy from Vault City. Yeah, I agree. Oh, we got raided. Boost our power armor. Let's do Borset Vanguard. Operation Brutus. I don't intend to attack. Oh, what's going on here? Interesting. So you're fighting these guys here, but not the Legion. Genta del Sol. Could we be friendly with this guy? Or invade him? You want to join the United States, guy? Okay? Right, so this path lets me assassinate Caesar, if I understand correctly. Thus making the Legion fractured. Or from the bottom up, what's that? Arm rebels in Legion territory. The second emancipation proclamation. Now, I'm not sure what will happen here. We incite a slave rebellion and come in as the side in that, like we did with the NCR, possibly. And here we assassinate Caesar and watch everything fall apart. And then go in to pick up the pieces. I kind of feel the from the bottom up idea more. We might be able to take him out entirely with just this one. Operation. I realized I have been too fixated on the Enclave ways. We are the United States now, so... And we also have tons of manpower, so there's no good reason to not just use normal troops in addition to power armor. See, we don't really have the resources for full power armor production, so let's just make as much as we can with the resources we have. Right, like this, maybe add one extra, and when you get more resources, we'll get more power armor. In the meantime, just make those cheap laser rifles with everything else, and add just some infantry. Also, I should be adding support companies, so I have the capabilities to build the equipment for them. So yeah, we'll be using auxiliaries. Take, they take infantry equipment and manpower, and we have that. Last American army, 20 width. Yeah, that sounds about right. Let's deploy more of these guys. How about we go to three army groups? Because we definitely can support that now. We're not giving everyone power armor, like we have been. Yeah, let's do from the bottom up. I'm curious to see a slave rebellion in the Legion. Reach out to more people. The Arroyo Courier. Oh, is that the Vault Dweller? Oh, well, I guess I can spare some soldiers to Arroyo. They're fighting Eureka. Are you allied to anyone? To Umbra. Let's take over Arroyo. Here we go, Ulysses, Remy. Border War. Ringwood, my field marshal. I bloody hate border wars. I hate them so much. More couriers. More factory output. It's ahead of time, but it's worth it. And we should soon start investing in support companies. So now that we have a lot of extra power armor, I'm gonna switch the rapid response divisions to enclave power armor infantry. The difference is they're just bigger units. See, rapid response 
is mm, it's five bits and this is eight and twenty with standardized you guys in position yes from the bottom up dreams of liberty we're dropping guns from the sky for the slaves oh Oh no, that's the focus we do that with. Weapon caches for the slaves. Nagor, leader of Arroyo. Well, shouldn't have killed my courier. Goodbye, Arroyo. And Umbra. What happened with my couriers? Oh, right. So they kind of accept it, and I'm not sure if this works for every one of them, but they would become a what? A puppet. Excellent. First, let's send the couriers to everybody, and then we can start peacefully puppeting them. I wrote the next stuff, but if we can do it without a fight, that's gonna be better. I prefer a peaceful puppet to forceful annexation. Without resistance, eh, not important. I think it's time to make some fighters and gunships. Those do take precious resources, but I'd rather spend on power armor. Hmm, maybe not then. Or maybe just a few. Start making some anti-tank rifles, a recon stuff, I think it's used by scouts. And we'll start adding support companies soon. Free civilian factories. Hmm, actually, let's build some stuff in San Francisco. And lower their autonomy, if we can do that. You guys taking over a royal? Yes, you are. Planted some weapon caches in Legion territory. Operation Spartacus, does it mean... Does it start the war um, immediately, or do I get... Hmm. Let's wait with that. I don't know if this gives me the decision to start the rebellion, or if it starts the rebellion. Let's see if we can incorporate Canada. Let's declare war on the Elko policy. Let's peacefully expand all over the wasteland. Peacefully in quotation marks, of course. Start a border war. No, I don't want to start a border war. Why? Can I just not do that? Did I click this somewhere? No, I don't want to start a border war. I don't know what I clicked to make this happen. I never ever want to start a border war because they're terrible and I hate them. Ah, oh, Elkabos is done. As usual, we uh, should annex everything. There's some resistance, but it's not a big deal. Oh, we can just pop at the Crimson Acolytes with this. Seems a bit overpowered. How big are you? That's 148 factories. Right, this is a great experience, but it's uh, it feels a bit too powerful. Sure, Crimson Acolytes, I would love to have you as my subject. Aurora is defending, and it isn't anymore. Mm, Eureka has 45%. I will try to take everything from them. We'll see if we can. Temple of Trials here. Mm, actually, let's save some score to contest whatever they want to take. Right, we take everything. Did I send anyone to Eureka? I don't think so. I think I will have to justify on them. Time for a new gek. Chester. Didn't I already do one in Chester? But Chester is our core territory, so if I can keep doing it, I will. Yeah, opened up some slots there. Shall we invade the Troll Warren? Maybe not right now. Or can we get a war goal on the Sorrows? Because there was something like that. Lone Tree and the Sorrows, yes. Gain an X war goal against the Sorrows. Sure, let's take them. Integrate the Tribals. Although it costs a lot to take the decision, it would be cheaper to just justify on them. Let's take Zion. It'll be a vacation resort. Well, we're fighting someone. And someone big. Will I inherit the war if it become my subject? We'll see. Actually, you know what? I'm going to cancel the construction that we're doing. Where is that? In Chester. So that I can keep using the gag there. I think I need to manifest destiny. For now, though, I think I should get the balances from these. And keep sending our envoys to peacefully puppet all these people. Oh, the question of Canada. Send the royal delegation to the Broken Coast. Where's the Broken Coast? Up here. Eh, it's still far. I don't need to do it right now. Military Theory Committee. The Chosen One's Trial. Oh, really? Shall we be compassionate to the Chosen One or employ a firing squad? Well, taking into account that our current president is actually the Chosen One's son, we shall be compassionate. 80s want to steal stuff from me. Well, We'll kill them later. Just don't start a border war. Right, the guys are in position. Declare war on the Sorrows and the Dead Horses and Canaan stuff. Am I at war with these guys? They can't reach this. Too many mountains. Well, I could do a naval invasion, I suppose. But maybe it's enough to just conquer these guys. Oh, oh cool. Ouroboros is attacking Caesar. Now, Caesar will beat them. I'm pretty sure, but hey, let them fight it out. Maxon's ideals, the chain that binds. I was never really a fan of the Brotherhood of Steel, but what we could get is division defense on core territory, or compliance gain, or stability. 30%? Oh, actually that's not base stability, that's total stability. That would help me even at war. 30% stability for 10 war support, but my war support is pretty low. Okay, let's, let's do that. Extra stability. And I know war support has gone down. Maybe we can help that with some decisions. Oh, contact lost. Yeah, yeah, sure. Send a rescue team. Haven't seen that in time. Use it in core package. Restore naval base. Sure. Ah, we found our expedition. 
they're back. Now, I want to invest in some support companies. Not sure which to use. Should do the medical ones, I'm sure. But let's research each of them, and then we can compare the stats. It won't take too long, not with eight research slots. Hmm, might have been a mistake to tank my war support. But, lessons of the followers. Let's do that. Can we actually cross to Canyon Point here? Yes. Eureka has joined the NCR. What? There's no NCR. Oh, must have been an event. I think I'll have to annex them. Pressure on the Lone Trees economically. Or I could just attack them. Lone Tree is just this bit here. Are they worth my time? Because it could just get a war goal. Let's just keep expanding peacefully as much as we can. Hey, free factories. Right, time to build in those lands, even though it's not core. But it will still be worth it. Oh, a border war, of course. I need to kill the 80s just because they're doing the border wars. I hate them so much. I just surrender a border conflict. It doesn't matter. If they win, they're just take some money or something. We repel the raid. Lessons of the followers of the apocalypse. Yes, the main lessons would be don't be wimps like the followers of the apocalypse. I'm exaggerating. Hmm, factory output 4%, that's nice. Research speed 5%, that's nice too. I guess I'll get the research speed. Monster of the East, maybe we'll get some award spot from that. Can I do a power drop? I do have transports. Yeah, I do. Let's get these guys over here. Sorrows capitulate. No traders from Hawaii, that's nice. Stability. War crimes, who's? Remove, repress or punish the troops. Uh, We'll punish the troops. Don't we have a lot of war support now? Alright, they capitulate and I don't have to do power drops. Good, let's take everything they have. Rejoice, Can new Canaan, in exile. We are now protected. Maybe I should justify on the troll warren. Because if it was possible to get them peacefully, I would have the decisions here. Oh yeah, and we can actually make these guys a subject. Although I'm not sure if that will start a war. And they are at war with everybody. Well, we could probably win quite easily. Sure, let's do that. Actually, we have our answer very soon because Crimson Acolytes are about to become my subject and they are at war with Heaven's Gate. And did you get a white piece? You did! Ha! Ah, hello, new subjects. Conclave Protectorate. 75% civilian industry. 25% military industry. That's excellent. Simply excellent. Let's get more of those puppets. The most beautiful thing is I don't need to fight anybody for it. But I need you to change the color to mine. Keep boosting stuff. More prospectors. More power armor. Yeah, let's just find Troll Warren. Pre-core tools. That's a nice drill. Next up, composite materials. Oh, right, I was supposed to be doing support companies. That's yeah, fine. Caesar and the Legion. What can we learn from him? Compliance gain and consumer goods factories. That's good. People should follow America's ideals, not the president. True to Joshua. Divinion attack and defense modifier. Not too good. True to Lanius. War goal time justification. Really? LARPers. Yeah. Uh, people should follow America, not the president. I am Uncle Sam. Stability and division attack. Oh, did they actually attempt to assassinate the president? Huh. Well, how long until Caesar actually wants to fight me? Where was that timer? 440 days. We still have a lot of time. Do we want a next Washington Brotherhood? Probably. Oh, with the hearts and minds, we'll get extra stability. Well, we have stability, but we'll get political power, which is nice. Are you logistics? Well enough. Ah, and these guys are ready to become my new army groups. Uh, right, armies are prepared. We just need a lot of commanders. Joshua Graham enlist, really? Cool. Unit leader, cunning desert fox. I could make him a field marshal. Although he already has the skills. Decrease some ciphers. Oh, right, I suppose. I could be decrypting the Warren, but it would take too long. I'm surprised these guys just submitted. They are pretty strong. Not as strong as me, but pretty strong. Ah, we no longer get the Brahmin Barons. Naval base restored, and we've done hearts and minds. What else? Broadcasting department. Oh, this just imploded? Wait a minute, wasn't this like Washington Brotherhood like super big here? Didn't it just implode? Maybe I missed something. Maybe I'm wrong. We might want to do mandatory pa uh, patriotism. It would sure be helpful. These are not exclusive, right? Okay. Excellent. Keep boosting power armor. And I'll probably be incorporating some normal infantry. So let's do these two. Pew! Research the last level of laser plasma or gauss weapons. Oh, we have plasma, which is better than this. Laser rifle. But the lasers are cheaper. Sadly, plasma rifles take the same components as my power armor. And I need my power armor. Wait, I think I need handheld radios for something. Where is that? Better guns. Maybe we should just build infrastructure everywhere. Not in the mountains. Teach for America. Yeah, I need some more support. Tell them about the time we went to the moon. Enclave education. Tell the truth about the enclave. Or not. That's not. Let's hire Sergeant Donovan. Donovan, sorry. For some more support. And get some more puppets. Ooh, we could restart the movie industry. Yeah, let's do that. More Gex and Chester. 
Oh, and I can annex them, but will I get cores? I don't think I'll get cores. Maybe better to just keep them as puppets. Oh, I didn't even get a notification. These guys are now my puppet. Huh, no wonder I have so many factories. These decisions are very powerful. Remember the rig. Yeah. Do we want to do mandatory patriotism? I think we need to go with propaganda. With the stability penalties and all that. I need the war support. Uh, almost done with the support companies. Just finish this one, and then we can modify our templates and see what works and what doesn't. Let's have a look. We're mostly using this. Enclave, power, armor, infantry. Right, so I think we need medical. I could do anti-tank just because I have lots of anti-tank guns. Although Caesar doesn't really have a lot of tanks. Let's add logistics for sure. Oh, I just don't have the army experience. Right, that'll have to wait. Right, for now, all of you will be switching to a different template. The last American army. And I do have enough men power and infantry equipment for all of that. Might even go to 40 with, because we can. And exercise. Military education. What did you get? Naval doctrine? Eh, disappointing. Oh, the Congress dislikes what we're doing and decreases our stability. That's very unfortunate. It's because of the propaganda broadcasts. Probably shouldn't have done them. Oh well, it's fine. More puppets. Researching some medical support and I think I'll want to add logistics to help with supply usage. Mandatory patriotism. Lots of modifiers here. More resource gain, please. Because more resource gain is more power armor. Speaking of which... Oh, I'm running out of scrap, actually. Huh, didn't expect that to happen. Unfortunately, we can now buy stuff from our other puppet, too. And we can buy scrap as well, on the cheap. It means I can make even more power armor. Which is, of course, our goal always. Having more power armor. Just location on the troll warren. Let's go! Call my subjects. Attack, it should be quite easy. Super mutants are strong, but power armor is stronger. And we have lots of that. Investing in medical technology. Mandatory patriotism is here. Oh, vac vaccinations can happen as well. We've captured the warren. Oh, Myrlux. We had Myrlux. I'm actually gonna annex everything as usual. Perhaps it would be better to rule over puppets, but I do like annexing stuff. Who doesn't? I'm thinking I should switch to export focus. Then we can make even more power armor. Yes, I know I'm doing infantry, but I will be switching that infantry into power armor as soon as we have enough power armor. Four political power per day. That's ridiculous. You could even do conscription. It's not necessary. Let's switch to export focus. This way we should have some more resources, and we do, indeed. Which means, you guessed it, more power armor. We've been doing jet fighters and all the other stuff, but I can't really outfit my support companies because I don't have enough army experience. So we shall wait a bit. Oh, wait a minute. You've been attacked. What, I've been working to make you a puppet of mine. Or haven't I been? Oh, yeah, that's these guys. Can I save them in time? Well, they do have a river to defend, so maybe. Oh, I should have been boosting the dogs, because that increases their suppression bonus. And we're using dogs for suppression extensively. Let's do free all bottle caps. Although we did already switch to the US dollar. Well, I wonder what the event will do. New Reno, the crown jewel. Should have kept New Reno as the capital, I suppose. Let's get those reformers. Oh, the river has just been breached. I might be too late. You need to survive 60 days, and I'll save you. The end of bottle caps. Hmm, helps with consumer goods factories. I think I need to get Masters of the Wasteland. Of course, we'll have to get the Washington Brotherhood and the Caesar's Legion eliminated first. Speaking of the Washington Brotherhood, I think it's their time to go. And don't we have a connection here? Oh, there's one here. At Cable Bridge. Well, it is the Brotherhood, but I was never really a fan of the Brotherhood. So there you go. Attack everybody. Oh, they have power armor too. Quite a lot of it. We'll still be fine. Caesar invested in encryption. Some fighters. For air superiority, because we can. Some jet fighters for everybody. Thanks to all the gags, Chester now has a lot of slots for me to fill. Got our war goal on Cascadia. Oh, I just now noticed this. How have I missed this? Sophisticated electronics tech and implant access. I need this right now. I need this like a year ago or two years ago. This is excellent. And by the way, let's attack the immortal leader of the Washington Brotherhood. Well, calling everybody. Let's destroy them. That really shouldn't be too difficult. The menace from Washington. Where are they even getting their power armor? Uh, they're preparing for war against me, but I already did attack them. Alright, got some power armor. Nice. Better dogs. Perhaps I could build some obsolete, worse power armor that just doesn't take all the good resources. Like scavenged power armor. It's not as good. It's very, very not good. But it could help a bit. And I still get all the power armor bonuses we normally get with it. So how about that? Doctor's bag. Remy, lead the attack. Well, they have power armor, we have better power armor. And now, we have implant access technology, which we should have had a long time ago. But I missed that it's added to the focus. But with so many focuses, it's kind of easy to miss something like that. Let's do seeking allies, just because we need to get through it. Hmm, we've got some gas weapons. All right, continue. Ghoul Pride Parade. Um, sure. Oh, I would go with this, but this goes with Lynette, and I hate Lynette. So, let's go against her. Yes, I hate her. Canadian Pirates. Broken Coast joins the Brotherhood. Why? 
Far away do I have to fight them now? Hope not. It's very far away. Oh, the lone trees declared war on me. Well, that's stupid of you. Alright, alright, let's send an army or two. I do have trained up troops, just didn't bother to outfit them. Here we go, Joshua Graham, and I do need a field marshal for you. Let's get this guy, Scott Blair. Will this one army be enough? Probably. They have laser rifles and all that. But let's send another just in case. Go, destroy the savages. Quickly, please. So my main force is eliminating Washington Brotherhood right now. So why is it called Washington Brotherhood? That's not what Washington, where Washington is. And we win. Excellent. I'm of course going to take everything. And all your navies. Thank you. Confirm and exit. Maybe it would have been better to make them a subject or something. Oh, Capitol Hill has a lot of resources, doesn't it? Show it to me again. That is a lot of resources. Now we can send more couriers now that we've met more countries. Cascadia, we can get Cascadia peacefully. Sure. Let's do that. And some confederation. Which one is that? Haida confederation. Can't see it anywhere. Oh, there's a little bit here. Well, let's be nice to them. We can afford to be nice. More power armor. How much do we have? 31,000 units of power armor. Ah, and I forgot to click record again. Not much happened. Some annoying border wars. And I'm setting up a template. And getting generals. We don't need anti-air. We have fighters and Caesar has, I don't know, bats maybe. Soft attack will be the most beneficial to us against... The Legion? The Legion is not the only enemy. Let's look at logistics for a moment. What do we have a lot of? Dogs, definitely. Anti-tank weaponry, we could just use the ones we have. Fire team, don't really have a lot of those. Mirelux, I have 2,000 Mirelux. Why? Add anti-tank just because I have lots of those. And that'll be it, I think. Let's call it American Power Armor Infantry and make it elite. Now, everybody's gonna become it. Can I stop the border war? I really don't care what's happening there. No, I can't. Huh, stupid mechanic. Right, so, since I'm doing anti-tank, guys, now that isn't really necessary, but since I'm doing them, I think we should invest in boosting that, that in logistics and scouts, and so on, and the dogs. Oh yeah, we can do better dogs now. Oh, I actually have enough resources for all the advanced power armor I'm making. Let's make some more advanced power armor, because it's the best power armor, well, with the exception of Mark II, which I can't get. We need support equipment, dogs, don't need the recon team kit, do we? Let's check. Again, we need support equipment, power armor, infantry equipment, dogs, and anti-tank weaponry. That anti-tank is mostly because I already have tons of that. Demolitions would be better, I suppose. Or fire team, not important. Which means the recon team kit is not necessary. Portable radios are not necessary. Anti-tank rifles, yeah, make some of those. And some more dogs. And that'll do. I don't need to revive the Air Force. Because I already have an Air Force. Let's do an officer core reform. You guys done with this yet? No. Ah, oh, Kruger. I need to promote him. Oh no, you are. Field Marshal. Good. Boost the dogs more. Boosted everything I wanted here. And we have exactly a thousand factories. Oh, we can buy some... Wait a minute. MacArthur? That's an Enclave flag. Where is that? Are you guys Enclave? You wanna join? You're a puppet of the Northern Khans. Interesting. Right, so let's switch everybody to power armor and check our logistics. We have so much of everything that it is not a problem. The only limiting factor is power armor, but they've been building it for so long and we've built so much of it. And it is not actually a problem. Oh, we have behemoths. We have captured super mutant behemoths from the Troll Warren. Good to know. All oh, right, I shouldn't have switched them mid-battle, should I? Let's do a Colorado line, although I don't think I need it. You guys finish them off. Can we buy more composite materials? Buy all of it, please. Excellent. Okay, that's my current production. 10 factories for jet fighters. 190 factories for advanced power armor. We almost have enough resources for that. Some anti-tank rifles, which will be replaced by better stuff. Some dogs, some support equipment, and laser weapons, because plasma weapons take up precious resources. And laser weapons are good enough. Can you guys finish them off already? Oh, you didn't kill everybody here. You should actually call these guys in. They can attack from the other side. And Joshua's man can destroy these guys. That'll be much faster. Hey, tractors are returning to the world. Savage leader, extra breakthrough. Cool. You guys ready to finish them off? Finally. And done. Sponsor an expedition to the Northern Khans. Cascadia becomes a federal commonwealth. Although, I should give them time to finish the war, but I already clicked the decision, so I can only hope they do it quickly. Otherwise, their work will be for naught. Send couriers. Yeah, good. Arjit systems, do we want that? Well, essentially, yeah, usually we do. Uh, let's sponsor a war movie. Get that war support going. Right, I think it's time to kill Caesar. Let's raise the banner higher and then we'll do Operation Spartacus. Which actually requires me to position our troops accordingly. These guys are allies of Caesar, so we'll need to take care of them. Get across the river here, into the Mojave. The interface is a bit too big, isn't it? <laughs> Make sure all our borders with Caesar are full of our troops. Maybe even this one. Yeah, let's see how a bunch of... A Roman Empire reenactors stuck up against power armor and laser rifles. Get in position, everybody. 
I sure could use more officers. Actually, I can get more officers. However, I could also get the Pentagon. Can I do that now? I could. Yes. That would make my leaders better and higher level, but also very, very expensive. But it might be worth it. Sure, let's do Pentagon Reborn. Costs 110. It's fine. Get in position, everybody. And do it quickly, please. Because we have a tyrant to depose. Better recon. We already did add recon. Yeah, these guys all have full support companies. You could say that the Enclave is overpowered in the mod, and um, you would probably be correct, but it's still a great experience. More jet fighters. I wonder what Caesar has that he can field against my jet fighters. Ooh, maybe balloons, and then there's people with spears in the balloons. Like hot air balloons. I just feel contempt for this man. I know it's a fictional character. I realize that. It's a very well-made fictional character. We can do cybernetic implants now. Na medical nanobots. That's amazing. Oh, we can do terminators. Later. Do we need to do the cyber dogs? I really don't like the idea of cyber dogs. I understand the appeal to some people, I just don't feel the appeal. My troops are almost in position. Time to say goodbye to Caesar, isn't it? Although, I need to arm the slaves first. I always like to war with the NCR. If I do that, they will flip to me. The Civil War starts. Actually, this might be quite helpful, for example, here. And even more helpful, where we have a river crossing, like here. We could get the entirety of the Mojave this way, but it will not be that difficult to take. Let's take this bit as well, so we can connect immediately. And I don't think I need more than that. I could get more than that, but I don't need to. Although if I took this, I could go around... No, it's not necessary. This is fine. Let's use that political power for something else. So, Operation Spartacus. Goodbye, Caesar. And just getting... An easy win across the river will be more than enough, I think. Economic resurgence, that's fine. Argent systems, Cass boost. Baron's Eerie. Let's send people there. Operation Spartacus. Okay, do we have a war? Does the war start? Do we get an event? What happens now? Oh, North Phoenix. This slay, this state needs slaves ready to rise up to freedom. Where's North Phoenix? Here. Okay, let's arm slaves there. About now. Shall always fight for freedom. Actually, should I arm more them, of them? No. This is enough. Let's rise up. Caesar's Legion declares war on us, which means this will be a defense war. Great. And we immediately get across the river. Oh, music again. All right, that's pleasant. Every man gets a car. Right, Remy, run across the river. You should have sent more troops down here. That is fine. And we even get some rebel militia, but they can just stay where they are. Attack everybody. Oh, yeah. Caesar's Legion has called in some people. It's fine. We'll still kill them. I'm focusing my efforts on the Mojave. Maybe that's a mistake, but we'll get across the Hoover Dam and might even free Mr. House if he's still alive. 80s want to raid us. Yeah, I'll kill them for it. They're probably too stupid to understand. They only haven't killed them because... Oh, what's this? This is an inconvenience. Where was I? Oh yeah, the 80s. I have only spared them so far because they were guaranteed by Caesar. Caesar is not going to be around much longer. Hmm. I should send my ships out to the river, because that looks like a naval invasion. Let's send one power army unit to destroy these guys. Hidden Valley shall be mine in a moment. Frontlines are acting a bit crazy here. Tucson capitulated. Good. This is... what's that? You guys, go and help Remy. Ulysses runs across Hoover Dam. You guys, invade in Nelson. Joshua, there's... hmm, there's too many here. Let's send Joshua down to Hoover Dam as well. Nobody tell him I killed the tribals. Cosmwood Cove. The enemy is... weak. Everybody on aggressive. The brushing off Salt Lake City. Oh, we got new cores. Excellent. Let's arm the nukes. Congress vetoes it. But if things get bad, you know, Legion's atrocities. Uh, the real atrocities are Caesar's speeches. Helios 1. We got it. The brushing off Hoover Dam by the Enclave. Getting across Hoover Dam. Yeah, Caesar's just weak. Let's destroy his pathetic legion. Keep going, everybody. You're doing great. Go on, save the militias. Now, oh, and the cipher is decrypted again, because they keep increasing the cryptology, but that's not a problem. So now we have it and we'll use it. The open road. Play Johnny Cash. Oh, we got sophisticated vehicle tech. Cool. But I'm not really using vehicles. We're using power armor. Keep boosting our armies a bit. Nothing left to do but watch Caesar's demise. Cascadia wants to send me stuff. Sure. I actually do need portable radios now. I checked and I didn't need them. Let's produce a lot. 200 advanced power armors a day for the Flagstaff. Oh, right, we can get these. Save an energy. What will be the bonus? Hey, Caesar, you want to capitulate yet? Not yet. I'm betting it's gonna happen relatively soon. Wait a minute. These guys joined the Caesar's Legion. FEV fizzles. Oh, that doesn't work because we did vaccinations. Cool. Flagstaff liberated. And the Medal of Honor. Now, did I call these guys into the war? I did not. So we don't need to worry about these guys for now. Even though they joined Caesar. For some reason. And for some field marshal level orders here. 
Should I fight the Mexicans? Hmm, let's capitulate Caesar first. Attack, I say attack. Something like that. Shouldn't take that much longer. So beautiful. Starlight Express. We're like NCR, but better. Right, and we're about to be done with Caesar. So we need to kill the Iron Alliance, apparently. Apprehend the tyrant. Caesar's Legion has capitulated. All right, who else am I fighting? The Iron Alliance. No. <laughs> The silly border conflicts have taken away my field marshal in the middle of a war. How stupid can this be? Right. Let's take this entire army group and quickly use it to kill the Iron Alliance so we can end this war and not have to worry about stragglers and such. Also, Rimi got a level. Pain, train, sniper, commando. Mm, life I should do. Countryside raided. I don't care. We'll eliminate their entire pathetic little country soon enough. Yes. Go quickly. More whispers of hope. Navarra have capitulated, that's fine. But we're more interested in the Iron Alliance. Let's get Robco and Age and Age tools. Be quick about it. Yeah, right, get the victory points quickly. And let's be done with this war. There it is. We have 89% participation. First off, I want a satellite in New Vegas, because I like Mr. House a lot. And for the rest, I'll just take everything. Take everything. Contest everything. Take everything else. Caesar has a big fleet, but it's, yeah, it's uh, probably something like sailboats and stuff. Trireme, yeah. <laughs> sure. Confirm. The peace conference. Ah, so beautiful. And we have our puppet New Vegas. No, not the king. I want Mr. House. Where's Mr. House? He should be ruling. I mean, the king is nice, but I want Mr. House. All right, the Legion lies defeated. This might be a good point to end this video. Although I still want to explore the focus tree. I'll think about it. Let's continue rebuilding the United States by eliminating the annoyance of the 80s. 150 days, that's a long time. Oh well, essentially I want to expand diplomatically wherever we can. But sometimes violence is the only answer. I kind of want to research this armor, the composite T45 D. Why? Well, because it will be better than the scavenged power armor that I can do. Of course, it's not as good as uh, all the advanced ones, but the advanced ones take resources, and I'm missing resources. So I thought I would uh, replace scavenged armor with this one, but I don't want to waste my bonus just in case I get access to advanced power armor mark 2. However, this is only a time bonus, so in half a year we'll be able to actually do that. I have too many dockyards. I should actually make some more air force, but do vertebrates take the advanced material as well? Yeah. See, my problem is all my technology has advanced and it takes all the advanced materials, namely composite materials. And even buying it from all my subjects, well, that's hardly enough. God bless the Enclave. We've saved Flagstaff from Caesar. These guys look dangerous and possibly our next target. Let's decrypt them and send an agent there. Also, I would li really, really like to put Mr. House back in charge of Vegas. I don't think I can. I specifically made them a puppet to make use of House's robots. But this not, might not work out. Ulysses falls ill. She'll, he'll be fine. Oh, do we keep the militia? No, I think we'll disband. Actually, we've gathered quite a collection of characters. We have Joshua Graham, we have Ulysses. Also, looks like I made the right decision focusing everything on political power production and maximizing that because we can now peacefully puppet people with that. Everybody exercise. Trade node resurgence. I should probably make trade routes. Okay, the trade node management needs a rework, I think. Time to do Masters of the Wasteland. And it claims everywhere. And I still don't have cores on all this territory. And I don't know how to get it. Although I don't actually need the cores with the economy we have. Rocket launchers. We go to Robco. Oh, and Securitron technology. That's cool. Well, we're not Mr. House to get the best out of Securitrons. And we do have our power armor, which is amazing. But still, good to have more options. Oh, ghouls are not happy. Why? Oh, found a new plane. Sure, yeah, wonderful. Traveling sky high. Keep restoring stuff. Oh, we can repair Hoover Dam to get more power. We don't need more power. We have plenty of power. But an investment is always nice. We need some war support. All right, we can keep restoring stuff for free. It's just, uh, just a decision. Sure, do all that. And finally, we get to explore the Sierra Madre and open vault for business. Explore Sierra Madre. Wonder if uh, Father Elijah is still trapped there. Sponsor a follower's expedition and another one. Trigger the epilogue detailing the fate of America. Interesting. We can get an epilogue for this, but I'm not done conquering people. Cascadia is a subject, right? 
No need to send any delegations to them. Oh, this was a mistake. Masters of the Wasteland gives me claim on everyone, on all the territories. And that actually damages my trade relations, which is a bit of a problem. So I still haven't dealt with the Brotherhood. Let's invest in Vegas. I should probably kill the Northern Khans. Oh, I can actually pressure them diplomatically. Let's do that. Because they actually rule over a strong puppet. Would be nice, taking them over. So these guys look like an enclave offshoot. Approaching the Sierra Madre. The gas cloud will not be a problem because power armor has filtration systems. So I'll just waltz in there and destroy everything that is not friendly to us and take over everything that is. Exchange robotic technology with Mr. House, who is currently not in charge in Vegas. Big war going on over here. Why do the voices say the master lives? Let's get some more factories going. Don't really need more military industry. Just civilian factories everywhere and infrastructure. Well, building up the country better than it ever was. Full infrastructure for everybody. No, no, don't bury the place, explore it. End of Legion Gurias. Oh, cheese production, cool. Pursue the caravans. The caravan attackers. Send some couriers over. Yay, more food. Invest in a dependent but separate Vegas. Okay, we have frozen the cloud and cut through it. Shouldn't be a problem. Actually, the cloud shouldn't be a problem in power armor at all. They do double as environmental suits. Home of the future. How's my war goal going? Just a bit longer. More couriers to everybody. New armory. And an army depot. And Fort Bliss. Lots of stuff. Oh, you're right. That's the things we keep upgrading. Yeah, and at this point I'm just stacking impossibly high bonuses, aren't I? Sponsor a war movie. I'd like the war support, please. House shall become my secretary of commerce, apparently. I wonder if I can have him as an advisor after this. New New Vegas. Oh, I do annex them. And we get consumer goods factories minus 4%. Cool. I thought they would be independent. It doesn't matter. Do I get house as an advisor? Or maybe after this I will. Because we haven't finished the focus. Oh no, it cancelled. Crap. Maybe I could have delayed accepting the event. What if I release it as a puppet again? Can I do that? There's so much here. New Vegas. Let's release it as a puppet again. Wonder if I can stack the modifiers. And Secretary of Commerce. Once again. If I can get Mr. House as an advisor, it's definitely worth it. It looks like I lost the modifier. We return in triumph, and what do I get? A spy book. Not worth it. Got Toro Plasma Rifles. Alright, the house always wins. What do we get? We get this again. New Vegas is known as Vegas now, and you're a subject. Wait a minute. Is that an android? Well, I was hoping to actually get Mr. House as an advisor, which would have been great. But if he's here, that's also good enough. I could have had this modifier end at Vegas and next, but once again, this is fine. I'm exploring. Neural interface. Implants. Homeland security. Because why not? Ghosts in the villa. Oh, so there's a whole big chain for the Sierra Madre. Once again, I have 78,000 suits of power armor in reserve. I think we can handle a few mutants. Sending couriers to everybody. Cleansing the villa. Keep going. Kill them all. Oh, we found Dean. Sure. Let's employ the asshole. Emergency draft. I won't need it. Another survivor. Sent in a representative from the... What did I click? I don't know what I selected here. That was Christine, but I don't know which option I just chose. Oh, it was the right one. Cursed shelter. Ah, just the kitchen finished, finally. Declare war. That will be very quick. Very, very quick. Shouldn't have raided me. Haywire holograms. Voltec levels of stupid. I have discovered mobile fortifications. I have no idea what they're for. Keep repairing stuff everywhere. Cons rejoin society. Sure, we can take them peacefully. Let's do that then. Where's my event? All right. Oh, right, so we sent someone from the Mojave chapter who that we took over. Good. She was not aware of the Treaty of the Lost Hills and the reformation of the Enclave. Right, fine. Let's have her cooperation. Also, I'd love some more generals. Oh, he has a cool portrait. Let's promote him. Florian Forrest. Keep restoring stuff for free. New citizen care package. Invest in the military academy. Oh, purchase better drills. That's a lot of resource gains. Do that. I have the money. Wait a minute. You're a member of Caesar's Legion faction. How? Strange. Villa is secured. Sure, get it fixed up. We are a country with the resources of an entire country you can fix up a villa. Invitations to the new gala event. This is a long event chain with the Sierra Madre. See, can I actually pressure these guys diplomatically? If not, I'll just fire a war goal. Then again, I might need a focus. Let's hold off. Do all the focuses. No need to fight if this can be resolved peacefully. Of course, we have an army strong enough to crush everybody in the world, probably. Pursuit of a caravan. 
attacker, build one military factory. Sure, how many you want? Oh, we can reclaim the Declaration of Independence. We should do that. I'll need to disband this unit of planes. Actually, cargo vertebrate doesn't matter. We can make the decision. Reclaim the dis uh, yeah, reclaim the Declaration of Independence. Went to the capital wasteland. Get some more support. Let's do oppose the Mexican Titans and see what it unlocks. AI technology. Oh, this also increases research speed. I didn't notice that. Sure, boost everything. The heart of a Sierra Madre. There are no impenetrable vaults, you just have to drill long enough. Oh, he is in there! Surprising there's no gold bars of money down there. Someone must have stolen everything out of the vault and made off with it. That, I actually did steal everything when playing New Vegas. You have to time your moves correctly, but you can just walk by Elijah and across the false fields with all the gold. Well, he should have let go when we had the chance. Right, so will we get any nice technologies there or something? Would be nice. Vending machines. We might be able to replicate those, we'll see. Oh, they want me to build how many military factories? Well, I thought it was going to be like five or ten. I'm not doing that. I don't need that many. I don't care about the organizations. We're only going to bow to corporations. We're a country and more powerful than all of them combined. Vastly more powerful. Flying death claws. Really? Well, not, the, not literally. Uh, let's see what this does. Approach the Baron. Maybe we can get a puppet. Other than that, it doesn't really seem worth it, because we can just wipe them out if we so choose and annex them. So then lease and sending them stuff doesn't seem like a good idea unless they become a puppet. We are in a position of strength now, so let's approach the Baron and see what this does. Mm, yes, we will treat with the Drug Lord. Let's see if he becomes a puppet. Costa Cafeinada. Wait a minute, so Costa Cafeinada will ally with the United States, but only if the Americans agree to send forces to protect them. Well, yeah, if you're a puppet. Right, where are they? Protect the Baron. I need to be at war with... Where is his country? Oh, here they are. Oh, he's a puppet of someone else already. So do I want to help him or her, the Baron. With him, it would be a Baroness otherwise. Unless we guard the borders, he'll defect to Santa Anna. Effects if not completed, we'll bend the knee. Wait a minute, we'll abort if he doesn't border in Ejercito, is that how you pronounce that? Mex Mexicano? So it should automatically abort, it has, okay. I don't know how this affects me in the long run. Of course we want to subjugate everybody. Construction in the villa continues and the defenses of some place are online keep restoring stuff. Just look at all that political power. Never should have accepted followers. Then again, perhaps Arcade Ganon was only available because I did accept. Hard to say. Looks like I cannot approach these guys diplomatically. And they actually have a lot of allies. The Rio Pact, the entire Rio Pact. Okay, I think you're my next target then. Take claimed state. 25 days. Now, do I want to fight these guys as well? Later. 25 days is a bit fast, isn't it? Regardless, here we come. Prepare our attacks with the utmost aggressiveness. We're moving south. Tagway Proving Grounds, research speed boost. At this point we've <laughs> we've stacked up so many bonuses, I don't think we're even comparable to any other nation in the game. Question of Canada. Hmm. I want to keep Canada, but if I select this, I don't know if it will mess up stuff I have with Cascadia, for example. So it can wait. Keep restoring stuff. We've dealt with the cloud, good. And the Texclave. I have claims on everything, but let's finish the tree. Maybe there will be some interesting bits in it. Should probably increase the size of my units to make them even more powerful. Death Claws, 8 our team. Really? In power armor? Perhaps I'm not giving them sufficiently advanced weapons. Time to invest in some better weapons as well. Turbo Plasma Rifles. 128,000 suits of power armor in reserve currently. I really need to expand my forces. American Power Armor Infantry. How about we just add more power armor? I could add power armor fire teams and demolitions, but my regular weapons are probably better than all those demolition ones, for example. Yeah, let's just do that. Add some more power armor. As much as can fit in a unit, because I can support such huge units, yes. Is the Enclave will field as much power armor as possible. Actually, I could replace some of my extra units with power armor support. It could be better. I want to keep logistics, recon, and cams. How about dogs? Well, they do help recon. Anti-tank. I do have anti-tank weaponry. I don't really need anti-tank weaponry. If I replace anti-tank teams with power armor support, we'll get more soft attack, defense and breakthrough, less piercing and hard attack. Well, the piercing the piercing change is actually very, uh, very big. So I think I will keep the anti-tank. Firebase, what's that? Oh yeah, that's with mobile fortifications and such. Well, we don't need that. We are on the offensive. All right then, just add lots of power armor as initially intended. 37.5 with amazing stats all across the board. Good, save that. Actually, they probably won't get reinforcements before they start fighting, but when you're so powerful, it hardly makes a difference. Forest falls ill. Now we're focusing on plasma rifles. Gauss rifles actually seem to be slightly superior in terms of hard attack and breakthrough, but plasma rifles have very good soft attack, so both are good. And we'll keep two energy weapons. Oh, excellent. 
The year has passed, I can now research this armor without having to worry about wasting my bonus. I can also exchange this for West Tech, which will make my power armor much better. And I should also exchange this for quality power armor, maybe. Is there an option here? Oh, here. Yeah, we have quantity power armor. And if so much, but that maybe quality will be better. Yeah, but that needs political power. The nearing completion of the Sierra Madre. About time. Still need to kill the Lost Hills for this to be available. Right, what's the Commonwealth project? If I understand correctly, this will create small puppets for me. I don't really think I want that. Let's do the Commonwealth project to see what happens. Hey, where's my justification? I was doing one. Did I forgot to click it? That might be the case. Let's do it again then. Nuclear reactors researched. Right, the Commonwealth project. Let's read about what it is. <laughs> we'll make it canon no matter what Bethesda says. I have no idea how this works. This does nothing right now. Unless the decisions to rebuild the four states Commonwealth. Let's see. I want to see what this does. Send careers to North Cairns. New Sierra Madre Gala event. Whoa, cool. Consuming goods factories 10%. That's ex excellent. Really. 4% consuming goods factories only. This is so good. We fire Joshua Morgan. We'll be at zero. Which one's Joshua Morgan? Yeah, political power gain is useful. Attack. Declare war. Take claimed state. With the potential enemies, only your Republic of the Rio Grande. Weren't you like allied to some people? We'll see. Declare war. Oh yeah, they did call them in. Well, it's not a problem for us. We have an army. A fairly big one with energy weapons and power armor. Do you guys not want to join the war? I'll have to force you then. Okay, then let's see what decisions we got. Oh, and new implants. Capitulation. Rebuilding the Rockies. Is that what we got? Secrets of Vault 24. Lots of cool stuff, but it all costs political power. I kind of want to spend it to have people join me. Why'd you get occupied by these guys? I guess I'll declare war on them. They seem to be a menace, and they're led by an AI. I already have one AI. A justification. Go. Broken masks, whatever that is. As you can see, our forces are not really encountering any resistance. Although I do need to retool the orders a bit. Perhaps my peaceful conquest of the neighboring countries is not necessarily the best choice because we can very easily and quickly do it militarily. I like being reasonable. A quick move south. Families of Vegas. Wait a minute. Why am I getting that now? Oh, they're spreading their influence. Let's uh, reach an accord with the families. Part armor research complete. Oh no, this is ahead of time too. Let's not waste a bonus on it. I'm still hoping to get Power Armor Mark II, although it doesn't really matter anymore, does it? Another one capitulates. And here's the end of the war. I only have 25%. You know, it doesn't really matter because I intend to fight with the other participants soon enough. Let's just make sure we have a nice and easy front line. But I was hoping to get more, but this doesn't really matter since I'm attacking everybody anyway. What's that? It's their ally, doesn't matter. Right, cancel the orders and redo them. Well, these guys are technically allied to Heaven's Gate, but it won't be a problem if I don't call them in. I mean, if I don't call my puppets in. And again, maybe my puppets can handle Heaven's Gate. I should call them in. If I do that, I'll have to strike from the south too. Sure, why not? One thing that annoys me about this mod, which I otherwise like, is just how many small borders there are and just can't be bothered to create a front line for everyone. Fortunately, we have puppets who will plug the holes. I can just uh, send a few strike teams to sensitive locations. Let's keep doing the Commonwealth things. Maybe we'll restore some more interesting stuff. Why do I have military access here? I don't need that. Oh, no, you're just exiled, aren't you? I'm going to stop all of you. Now redo that. That's better. Some of you even go to ports. Well, that was quick. Nicely done. Cascadia or the Northwest Commonwealth. We'll deal with the details of later. The business of California. Is ready to attack? Yeah. Declare war. And call all my puppets, which we have a lot of. There's war with the Alamo chapter. Do I care about that? Not really, no. And here we go. Wait a minute. Offer of independence was accepted by ciphers. Did I read this right? Can't even find them. Well, let's get some more federal commonwealth, shall we? The invasion is going smoothly. Oh, they got a nuke. Well, we have several. The world can take a couple more nukes if it becomes a real issue. The attack from the south is not going as well as it could be going, but it is going. We want to use Securitrons. Well, without Mr. House's upgrade, they're not that good. They could be used to pacify the population, but I have my dogs for it. Okay, this is one of my toughest opponents yet. Third behind New California Republic and Caesar's Legion. Of course, they cannot stand up to three full army groups of power armor users, but they at least put up a defense. All right, I have their cipher. Let's not forget that. And use it. The gun runners. Yeah, let them continue operating under our purview. The rest of these do nothing right now, apparently. Oh, extra political power. Let's get that. And war spot. Remember Navarro. They really are putting up a fight. Obviously, take everything. And next, Dominion of Tlaroc. Should we go after the Chichen Itza? Probably. Mm, actually, can I access this area? Yeah, through the rivers. Good. If we're taking over everything, let's take over everything. Take claimed state. Manifest destiny at work. Oh, the cons. Oh, Cyphers rejoins society. We had Cyphers 
Oh, it's these guys. Wait a minute, you were my puppet already, weren't you? And I'm guaranteed by them. We should just attack them. Let's give them one more chance of diplomatic integration. We could use more command power. Infrastructure everywhere. Quite literally painting the map with roads. Mr. Gutsy? No, let's go with the heavy ones. I find the idea of cyber dogs distasteful, but let's uh, just have them researched just in case. Remember Navarro and remember... Oh god, that plain enclave is not... Oh, we have to be a purif purity uh, faction for this, never mind. Mexican efficiency. Justification complete. Let's attack. And call in our subjects. Should be quite easy. Well, everything is quite easy if you have an entire army of advanced power armor troops. King of Swing at the tops. Something's got to give. Dean Domino has returned. Oh, there's some useful decisions like dealing with Eureka here. Well, that can wait a bit. Let's get all the federal commonwealths first. Let's conquer the coffee coast. The time has come to research the bicycle. Fall of Chichen Itza. Why are we not surrendering yet? Chichen Itza capitulates. All that is left is Honduras. Basically, that's why we win all those battles so easily. Base value, 517 nines of the attack. Further modified, 2730. Overpowered? Yes. Mini nukes. Hmm. Not needed, but we can use it if we so choose. Where's my peace conference? Wait a minute, I took all your stuff. Oh, you, you already took this one. Thought they wouldn't capitulate ever. That's better. Everything is taken, as usual. Well, the Northern Khans are now my subject, which has let Mark Arthur be independent. All right, I wonder what would happen. Should we annex San Francisco? Here we go, have some convoys. Let's send some to Vegas as well. If we can have Mr. House rule Vegas, it's hardly worth it. And again, I don't know if I want to lose my bonus if I annex them. So I'll just leave Vegas alone. Difficult decision. All those are now federal commonwealths. It's time to start annexing them. Let's start with Mexico. Let's do dealing with Eureka. Because we gotta deal with Eureka. Now oh, we just annex them. Cool. That was easy. Expedition to the Sierra Madre. Hmm. So we did restore it, so stripping it for resources doesn't seem like a good choice. Bloomfield Space Center, why not? Will we get red glare rocket launchers from it? Actually, in Fallout New Vegas, red glare was a very disappointing weapon for me. Maybe on lower difficulties it is fine, but on high ones it can't really bypass armor, because it's a lot of small explosions. It does cripple limbs well, but I always found it inferior to a regular missile launcher. New Field Commander. Oh, traders, teach us the art of diplomacy. Send the courier in. Satellite network? Cool. Pre-war American soldiers hibernated in Alaska. Interesting. Although I'm rather busy annexing people. And here comes the annexation. Will we get a core or not? Occupied state as expected. Did I get all your troops? I did not. They were deleted. That's unfortunate, but not really a problem. Lower the autonomy. How do I get so many weapons workshops? I'm not building them at all, only annexing them. How about we take out Texas? Researching tanks now because I don't have anything better to research. Justification is ready. Are the armies ready? Almost. Yeah, they're ready enough. Go. There we go. Mr. House. Yes, of course. Reaching for the stars. Of course I'll accept your offer. He's offering me a ground floor opportunity. Sure. Let us restart the space administration. Space mechanic. Really? All right. A series of events about space. The Delta X, Mr. House comes prepared. Let's justify on the Alamo chapter next. Alamo or Alamo? Something like that. Perhaps a brotherhood control in Texas. Well, we're taking over everything. Although they are putting up a defense, more than most of the others. It must be the power armor, but mine is better. But there is decent as well. No more Republic of Texas. Oh, we can send new couriers. Oh, there's something left here. Bayou Motors. Well, is there dressed fancily? More hope, more political power, more couriers and annexations. It's time to annex the Seraph Lords. Or maybe, maybe Cascadia. Let's do Cascadia. These guys are justifying on my friends. You shall not get away with it. Goodbye, Alamo chapter. That's lighting fast. Lighting fast Brotherhood eradication. Even got some plasma weapons out of it. Someone called the Order here. I guess I should probably attack them. I'm bordering the Order, but I can't send people there. It means I'll have to conquer them. Same with the Realm of Diana. Probably. All oh, right, we can do Texas stuff now. Justification complete. Let's go. They're justifying on their last lodge. Of course, I will not tolerate that. You guys are allied to them, and you don't want to fight me. They demand. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, it was quick. Oh, we can now send couriers here and here. What's that? Oh, we need to be a member of the MacArthur Detachment. Let's see what that does. Sorry, neighbor. Did I say member? <laughs> These guys declared war on me, actually. That's uh, amusing. Tribals. 
That was not very smart. Justify on the order. And these guys too? That nah, takes too long. At least at the moment. Lord's anointed to join us. Next. Looks like I can't send anyone to Heaven's Gate, so we'll have to annex these guys as well. Oh, cool. Cosmic Factory reduction. Temporary. Is it time to trigger the epilogue? I kinda wanna see what other secrets we have, but it's taking quite a long time because the game has slowed it down, and we already are more powerful than the entirety of the world combined. So I think what I'm gonna do is just proclaim, proclaim victory now, but I'm curious to see what else is in the mod. So, I'm gonna cheat now, because, yeah, we win. Our immense armies in power armor walk around America conquering everything. I wanna see what all these do as well, and we have to wait for political power to do that. So what I'm gonna do is just to use console commands to get more, just to see the events, and then we'll end the video proclaiming our victory. Because the only limiting factor now is time and waiting, and as you can see, at this point of the game, the run game runs a bit slow. So let's give ourselves 2000 political power with the console. I don't usually do this because cheating makes games boring, but in this case we already win and I just want to see the effects of all our decisions. So let's, let's integrate all these countries into our nation, prepare the rocket, Mr. House, restore something, and take these decisions. Restore the Hanford Atomic Reactor. There's ghouls. We can, we can kill them with plasma grenades or we can give them stock in the new company. Yes, let's do that. Next up, Portland's Harbor. Pirates of the Moor. Imprison them or use them. Let's use them. North to Alaska. Um, okay, on behalf of the Enclave, we wake old soldiers. And get units, what are they? First Alaskan platoon. It's just infantry with some power armor, but they're equipped well with turbo plasma rifles and advanced power armors. Cool. Reclaim Seattle. Dark Foundry. Another med AI. Copy its data banks while it tries to solve pi. Sure. That. The Trolls of the Warren. I did conquer the Warren. What do we have here? The Super Mutant Question. Invoke constitutional claims. Sure, we're friendly to all. Next up. Rebuild Sacramento. A New Day Glow. Helios 2. Actually, I could use those extra resources. And next, San Francisco. Also, more political power. Yes, I know I'm cheating. I just want to see everything that this mod has to offer. The Mariposa Base. The Mutant Mecca. And mutants will journey there to see the birthplace of their species. What's next? The Boneyard. City of Angels. We can keep it the Boneyard. Rename it to Los Angeles. Or... Yeah, let's just keep it being the Boneyard. Navarro Memorial. Okay, nice. San Francisco means some more. Money? Money doesn't really matter when you have this much. Next up, rebuild. What's next? Oh yeah, further restore stuff. The reservation. Why do they need slaves? Secret Service took out gutting guns guarding the reservation. Oh, they're doing slavery experimentation. Let's kill them. The Mormon faith. Raise it even to the foundation. Going war. Waging war against good people is bad for the soul. Or promise them autonomy. Oh, I shouldn't have taken this decision. Oh, all of this is negative. Sure, I'll release you temporarily. Whoa. Economic capital fallen. Wait a minute. How is this in my economic capital? It definitely wasn't. Ah. Oh no, Daniel. Oh, I hate Daniel. No, no, no. You're getting a next. Air Force Academy. What's this? Even better fighter. We already have a huge fighter. Oh, this one's even newer. Oh. Secrets of War 24. Sands of Time. Research Speed. All oh, these are very good. I should have done them earlier. Although, see, the problem is we have so many options and most of them are good. City of Dogs. Can you do something about it? Next up, Texas. The Atis Remnants. We accept mutants, so let's accept them. The Chained Choir. Sounding potential. Hmm. Right, let's study it. Next up, Mr. Entertainment. War support in exchange for stability. We could use that. Take out the Mind Control. Keep the rest. Reprogram Raiders and the Legion. Uh, take out Government Mind Control. Oklahoma's Last Patrol. Maintain the unit, let their patrol end. War support and stability, or get a unit leader. Actually, I could use some war support, but I could also use a unit leader. So, sure. Texan Arms Association gives me some resources, that's fine. Mysteries of the Texclave. Right, find the Enclave. Texas, Houston. We have liftoff. Reaching the stars. And the Alamo. Should we remember it or clean it up? Let's remember it. Okay, that's on most of the decisions. We could strike Lost Hills and unlock that bit of the focus tree, but I probably wouldn't spend my time doing it, so let's just leave the Brotherhood alone for now. Let's annex Vegas and see if we keep Mr. House's bonus. We seem to keep it, yes. Some super mutant negotiations are happening, although... I probably clicked it away too quickly. Found our lost brethren and the last American army. Are they going to be our friends or enemies? Warriors of Honduras. Well, I already did conquer them. Well, I suppose I can do the focus. Mm. All right, we have encountered our lost brethren, but they don't seem too happy about it. And we get a new friend. Santiago joins the fight. Send in Marcus to negotiate with the mutants. 
See, I'm, I'm rushing through these events, but I really, really want to see them before ending the video. Oh, and we did annex our lost Enclave brethren, didn't we? Super Mutant Auxiliaries. And can we make Frank Horrigan clones with huge power armor? Pretty useful. Let's go into space. Honduras. Well, I'm not gonna be releasing them again, since I already annexed them. Oh, I forgot I was supposed to attack the Order. Sure, let's do that. And they are putting up some resistance. Well, I am attacking over a river, but they can't hold out for long. New Canaan annexed again. We cannot suffer Daniel to live and rule a country, because I dislike him. Ah, about to annex a whole bunch of people. Did I crash the game? No, almost. Alright, uh, we no longer have overextended administration, because we annexed all these people, it seems. Cool, nice. And we can continue doing that. Just annexing people until we rebuild the entirety of the United States, including Canada and Mexico, because we get everything. But I'm actually going to end it here. I've seen most of the events, and I should probably give a bit of a summary on the mod, shouldn't I? It's it's excellent. Although, the beginning until you deal with NCR, or rather until you deal with Caesar, is the more fun part, I would say. Mm, because after this you just snowball so, so much that nobody can uh, oppose you. If there was an opposing force on the other side of the continent that was equally powerful, yeah, then maybe. But, and that's about it. Defeating Caesar was the point where there was nobody who could even resist our attacks. Still, I love how deep this is, and how varied it is. One thing that comes to mind is that we're probably a bit too overpowered. We get bonuses to everything. We use almost no consumer goods factories. We got thousands of factories. Everything is going out, which is wonderful. And five political power per day, why not? It, the, the mod is actually a wonderful experience. Just you get too powerful, like halfway through your conquest, and then there is no challenge left, but there's still fun and flavor, and the flavor goes quite deep. Now, a reminder, I'm using the Old World Blues mod, with the sub-mod Enclave Reborn, with the sub-sub-mod Enclave Plus. I do recommend that you try it, it was a very interesting experience, especially when we had to balance our expansion around a new Reno with the NCR discovering us. Made some mistakes then, but it turned out well in the end, didn't it? All right, I enjoyed this immensely. Now, at the point of recording, I don't know if I cut this into two videos, I probably did because there's a lot of content here. Regardless, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did, and I will see you again soon, probably with another mod video. Or maybe I'll go back to vanilla for a while. Not sure, but I'm very happy I finally decided to do those full conversion mods because I'm enjoying the game again, and I'm enjoying it a lot. And I hope you can feel that. It's a great feeling to rediscover enjoyment in something that I was almost burnt out with. Right, I'll see you again soon with more content. Goodbye.